Hello folks, Bolt Matrix here, and today we are taking a look at 66 Action, 66 Action Dash Mega Man 2 figures. That's a little bit of a misnomer because there aren't any Mega Man 2 figures in this set, which is weird. Honestly, I'm not sure why they said Mega Man 2, because we have one Mega Man figure, one Mega Man Network Battle figure, and two Mega Man X figures. There is a fifth one in the set, but we will open that here on camera. First up, we have Cutman, Mega Man X, Vile, and Network Transmission Mega Man, I think. Either that or it's the Network Transmission Star Mega Man. Those were Game Boy Advance games that I never played. I always meant around to, I always meant to get around to them, but I never got a chance to play them. These little dudes were picked up at Hobby Link Japan, and I picked them up in a set with a full two boxes, because that's the only way they were selling them. Now, size comparison-wise, there's a Titans Returns figure, or Power Master. Here's a Prime Armor. And I know I've got a Legends class figure around here somewhere. And here is Syndasar. Cyndasaur, Cyndasaur, whatever. You know what I mean. It's Slash from the Dinobots. So, yeah, you can see the size. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the fifth one now. Now in the box they say Rockman because Mega Man in Japan is known as Rockman. Just Google it. You'll figure out why. Each little box has, well, just everything you need to know. So, number one is X, number two is Vile, number three is Network Battle, number four is Cutman, number five is the Flying Fist from Mega Man 6, or the Flight Armor, Jet Armor. This is the box number five, so thankfully it's labeled so we can figure out what it is, and I'm assuming that says the name of the figure. Just pop it open, rip it open, everything comes out on nice little baggies, and then inside is some gum, which is actually quite tasty. And then you can rip apart like other mini plaz toys. You can cut along these perforations or just rip it apart. And you have the directions on how to form up each individual figure, like so. Now there is something extra that comes with each figure and we'll be covering that when we look at the figures individually. For now, I'm going to open up these little baggies with a pair of scissors, and we'll go ahead and build out this little Mega Man. Each of the little packs holds the main body, one pack holds the head, and these heads require a significant amount of force to put, be put on. One set pack holds the little extra bit, and then the other pack, and then the other pack holds the fists, and in this case we have punching fists. Now each one of the sets, or each one of the figures, has a different number of fists, and they all are a little bit different. So in this case we will add a fist to the right and to the left. And getting these fists in does take a little bit of force, but nothing crazy. Like that. Now to put this on, or to put on the extra bit, I'm not exactly sure, because it doesn't look... nothing seems to line up correctly. I'll have to look that up later. Anyway, so that's how we assemble these little dudes. Starting out with Mega Man X, you can see that the paint is quite good, and the figure feels pretty good. The only real complaint I have about the paint has to do with the upper legs. And, well, as you can see, if you really look closely, the paint isn't the best on those legs. Posability wise each figure is incredibly poseable with multiple points of articulation. Head is on a ball joint, ball joint in the shoulder, an upper arm swivel, a hinge joint at the elbow, and then the fists all move thanks to their, you know, ability to come on and off. There is torso articulation, an ab crunch, forward and back, ball joint in the thigh, knee joint, and a ball joint in each foot leaving the ability to have a lot of good poses be done. However, each one of these figures has a little bit of an issue with the ball joint in the legs, or in the hips. They're a little too loose for my taste, and the knees are a little too loose, but that's what you get with plastic joints. 100% plastic on these figures. No pins or anything. I do have to say, though, the face sculpt on Mega Man X is phenomenal. It's way better than that travesty that was the Marvel Legends figure. The other thing I greatly appreciate is the arm here, or the arm cannon on his left arm, has a nice little red dot 
in the middle of it. So, hey, that's the arm cannon. If you wiggle it too much, though, the arm cannon has a tendency to fall off. Pull the entire arm off and put the new arm on and then give him a fist. Ah, they're so tiny, everything's falling apart. X only comes with two sets of hands, one set of open hands and one set of punchy hands. Being the front runner of the entire set, X is pretty cool, and he's also the perfect size for riding dinosaurs. See what I mean? Moving on to the second figure in the set, and that is Vile, or Va Va Vala? Vava? I think? Yeah, v Vava. V-A-V-A -V -A in the Japanese. And this is a spot-on recreation of Vile. Now, if you don't know who Vile is, he is this dude who has appeared in pretty much every single Mega Man X game. He is well known for being purple, evil, a maverick, and he's got this cool little cannon on his right shoulder. Now, the extra gimmick that he, or the extra thing he comes with is a drink. A tiny, little, robotic, maverick, alcoholic beverage. That's such a nice nod. The only other hands... The only other hands the figure comes with are these kind of open hands, both right and left for drinking, and then fists for punching. Posability is exactly the same. Head is on a ball joint, shoulders on a ball joint, swivel, bend at the elbow, ball joint in the legs or thighs, knee articulation, ball joint in the feet, and 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 the ab crunch is there, but it's much, much lessened thanks to his bulky upper torso. His gun is poseable, or cannon I should say, however, every time I move it, the little chain magazine pops out. And in the original, he had this nice big magazine that he used to shoot the bullets with, but I believe later on his design negate or got rid of the magazine. Overall, it's an excellent looking figure, and probably my favorite color-wise at least. I love the look of this dude. Big helmet, thin body, armored. Very, very cool. Again, he suffers from the same imperfections that X does, especially on the upper thighs and down on the feet. And I forgot to mention that on X, the front of the feet of X, or the front of the shins, are marred from the plastic being removed from the sprues. You can see the excellent head sculpt or helmet sculpt going on here with good paint and the little Maverick logo right there on the top of his forehead. You never see his helmet removed in the games, though. That would have been interesting to see. One negative aspect to the design has to do with the fact that you can't raise the arm and bend the elbow enough for him to actually grab the cannon. In the games, or at least the first few games, he would jump in the air, grab his cannon and aim it, and then fire it down at X. Unfortunately, you cannot recreate that with this little figure. That's really the only negative I have against the figure, other than, you know, some of the painting imperfections. Next up is my least favorite figure of the set, and that is Meteor Rockman from some GBA games. I know you guys are going to correct me in the comments. I don't care. I didn't like the look of these games. I believe they were called Star Force here in the U.S. Whatever. I'm being a bit dismissive because this is also my least favorite figure in the set because of some real QC issues. One, his ears have a tendency to just pop off. Just touching it popped his helmet or his right ear off. Ear, I use the term loosely. I could fix that with some glue. He comes with only two extra hands, this open hand and a fist for his right, for his right hand. And then for his left hand, he has the meteor buster. And then that comes off to add quite possibly the best accessory of all of them, a nice big sword that's actually rather difficult to get on. So you can get him armored up with this nice sword, and he can act like he's going to chop a fool in half while his ear falls off. Posability for Meteor Rockman is exactly the same as all the others. Ball joint in the head, shoulders, upper swivel, bend at the elbow, fists do move ab crunch, or in this case, a lot more ab articulation than the other two. Ball joint in the hips, bend at the knee, though not 90 degrees, and then ball joint in the feet. However, this specific Meteor Rockman has a major issue. The ball joint in the right hip is stuck and won't move all that much. And you can see there is a fine white line there, right inside the hip joint. You can barely see it. 
That means that the piece that the ball joint is on is about to break. So I'm not going to bother trying to pose this dude too much. The overall look of the figure is good, but it's definitely my least favorite of the set, simply because these games passed me by. Never played them. Never even kind of wanted to. Bot number four is Cutman, and oh, wow, is this such a cool little figure. He's so well detailed, his face is so expressive, and the paint is super simple, but it works. That just tells me that the original design of Cutman was super cool. One other really neat gimmick, the cut com the uh, blade cutter comes off the head, and you could plug it into one of his hands. Though getting it into his hand is actually really difficult, because there's not much room there to peg it in. You kind of have to just let it sit or worry about marring the plastic. The other issue I have is, for some reason, on this specific one, the ball joint and the knee joints are super loose. It'll hold the figure up, but as soon as you start moving him, he falls over or they start moving. So there is that. Cutman comes with two closed fists that you can use, and he also comes with this little clear met tool. So cute! I want to paint him! I want to paint him solid yellow with a black face! Oh, he's so cute! And he's got these two little pegs in the back that make me think it's supposed to peg in somewhere, but it doesn't, unfortunately. Maybe those are just heels. But he's so cute! There we go, got it. Does require a bit of force to get him to hold it, though. But look! That's so cool! I love the look of that! <laughs> Sadly, one thing that I think is a great big missed opportunity is... You pull the hands off, oops, and unfortunately you can't plug the cutter in very well. If you could get it in there and actually have it stick, that'd be really cool. I also tried this with Mega Man X. Didn't work so well in the buster. But oddly, it works on powered up Mega Man or Jet Mega Man just fine. Now, this is Mega Man or the Jet Mega Man module from Mega Man 6, which is an underappreciated game. There, there's a lot of fun to be had with that game. So it works there, oddly. And speaking of Super Rockman, or jet-powered Rockman here in the States, here he is. It works pretty well. I like the look of it. There are the jets on the back. Would have loved a little paint there, but eh, oh well. On Super Rockman, you do have to be a little bit more careful with him than the, other t than the others, because these thrusters on the back do peg on and off very, very easily. To attach the Super Arm, or Buster Arm, we pull that off at the upper arm swivel, and then peg it back in with the do one, which is actually a lot harder to do than you might think. And then just keep attaching pieces that keep falling off, which is annoying, but oh well. It's a small figure. And then we can attach the fist from the other part of the arm that we pulled off to make his fist attack. Well, that's exactly what it is in the game. It You launch your fist out at enemies like that. So that... Totally works. Posability for this guy is exactly the same as the others. Ball joint in the foot, ball joint in the head, swivel joint, ball joint in the head, ball joint in the shoulder, swivel at the upper arm, hinge at the elbow, fist can move side to side because they pull on and off. Ab crunch capability, it's technically a ball joint. Ball joint in the hip, bend at the knee, ball joint in the feet for some decent poses, though I don't like the face that he's making, the Grimace face. I get what they're going for, because in the artwork for the game, he's making that face when he's shooting off his fist. I just don't like it on the toy. This whole set of figures is really cool, and I picked this whole set up over at Hobby Link Japan. If you're a Mega Man fan, it's definitely worth picking up, though I would be very wary on Meteor Mega Man. The quality control on that figure isn't that great, and I, I just don't like it. It's just not my bag of tea. Or cup of tea. You know what I mean. So folks, let me know what you think of the set down in the comment. As always, I'm Bolt Matrix. I'm going to ask you to hit that like and subscribe button. Be sure to hit the bell so you know when a new video is up. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you next time.